Hey, this is Pyrus from TGS. Thanks for watching the first episode of Twinkology. In this episode, I'll be covering the 79 Fury Warrior Twink, one of my favorites. You'll learn what is, in my opinion, the best Fury Warrior talents, the best optimization, and player versus player damage rotation. Let us begin with the Fury Warrior talents. For my spec, I chose to go 32 in Fury and 4 in Arms making sure I picked up the three PvP essential talents, Piercing Howl, Heroic Fury, and Furious Attacks. These three talents alone are what differ from most PvE Fury specs. Let me talk about these three essentials real quick. Piercing Howl is a lot like hamstring, with the exception of that it has larger radius, and it's an AoE slow. Heroic Fury is on a 30 second cooldown and it removes any immobilization effects and refreshes the cooldown of your intercept ability. This ability is so helpful versus those pesky mages or any classes that might root snare you. This also means that you have potentially three stuns during a fight. Furious Attacks is an effect that is added to your auto attacks. It states your auto attacks have a chance to reduce all healing done to the target by 10% for 10 seconds. Although you burst targets down quite quickly, this still helps negate some of the pesky healing that healers put out. Please do remember that these are in my opinion the best, and I have not done excessive theory crafting outside of me just playing the character in Battlegrounds and while dueling. Let's talk about some glyphs real quick. I am currently running this setup. For my primes, I am using Bloodthirst, Slam, and Raging Blow. Those are my main damaging abilities so I want to make sure I am increasing the damage they do as much as possible. Majors are Long Charge, Piercing Howl, and Victory Rush. A lot of the times, without Long Charge, I've been put in combat before I've been able to open up on a target. So this prevents that from happening quite a bit. The Piercing Howl Glyph increases its radius by 50%. Once again, you'll want to use this to slow down your prey instead of hamstring. Last but not least, the miners are Berserker Rage, Enduring Victory, and Bloody Healing. I really love having Victory Rush available for just a little bit longer. As from time to time, I find myself wishing it was up for when I moved on to my next target. On to the items the character wears. This is the bread and butter of a twink. You'll want to get as many of the Earthfall items you can possibly get for your warrior. These items give you tons of stamina, strength, critical strike, and haste. All four of those stats are what I consider the strongest for this type of character. With Commanding Shout, my warrior sits at 43,836 HP, 4,671 AP, about 35% crit chance, and about 20% haste. As you can see, I don't even have all of the Earthfall items. So, until you can get all your slots filled with Earthfall, you can always pick up temporary items such as of the Earthbreaker, or of the Mercenary, and of the Soldier. These are all great items, although not the best. Oh, and please, try to avoid getting the level 70 resistance gear. Although the damage reduction is nice, it is not enough to counter the bursty damage a Cataclysm geared Twink can dish out. Once you've gathered all the items for your warrior, I suggest picking up some Savage Armor Kits. They provide a nice amount of stamina for your items. For the pieces you can't deploy Savage Armor Kits to, pick up any stamina enchantments or gems you can find. The more stamina you have, the longer it takes to take you down. I know I had mentioned that I would talk about the best PvP DPS rotation, but it is more of a, an ability priority list. So for the maximum burst damage at the start of your fight, you always want to charge in with the extra charge distance, switch to Berserker Stance, Berserker Rage, Death Wish, pop your DPS Trinket, then Recklessness, and then follow all those buffs with your damage spam, Bloodthirst, Raging Blow, and Slam when the Blood Surge procs. When you have 50 or more Rage, you can use Heroic Strike if the other three abilities aren't available. I hope that all this has been helpful, and please feel free to comment and ask any questions, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. And now for some Battleground action.
information down.